Okay, Matt, so we're going to talk about overhead technique. Okay. The most common problem I see with recreational players mm -hmm. with their overhead is not getting under the ball. Right. All right? They um, misjudge it, misguide it. So I have this really good tip, first of all, we're going to talk about for making sure you're under the ball. Okay. And with this, with this you want to have a cone, and then you want to um, hold your arm straight up, your non-dominant arm, and then you want to try to catch the ball um, with the cone, with your arm fully stretched, touching your ear. All right, so, yep, right there. So if I toss you a ball, and then that, you were kind of a little bit to the right, right? Okay. So you're not quite so under. Move my feet. Not quite under. Yes, okay. you do. So this one, move up. Yeah, that's perfect. So there you're under the ball. Now, if you're, if you're catching the ball, you know, with a cone here, the cone here, the cone here, the cone here, you're not under the ball. Right. So that's a really good, good, um, good trick for teaching yourself how to get under the ball. Okay. So when we're talking about the overhead, um, you know, let's start with the basics. You want the continental grip, mm -hmm. right? Which is basically um, the shake, shake the hand grip, shake my hand, shake the racket's hand. Um, if you don't have a continental grip, eventually you, you should try to get to it. I mean, if, you, if you're a player that's been hitting with this grip for your whole life, might be a hard change, yep. but you know if, if it works for you, keep it. But if you are you know still developing, start out with the continental grip. Okay. Um, one important thing with the overhead, if you want to come over here, one important thing, or why don't you come on this side? One important thing on the overhead is you want to make sure that you don't start back. Okay, so most players will pick up their right foot and then they start back pedaling or crab crawling, yeah. and that's not how you want to move to the overhead. So the first the first step on the overhead is to identify and turn. So you want to pick up your left foot, pick up your left foot and put it over your right. So you start um, okay. crossing over. So again, it's this way, and you want to back pedal back uh, or side run back. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, then from there, you use your your non-dominant arm, the one we just talked about with the cone. You use that to point at the ball, and then you want to make sure you're under the ball. And then as you're hitting the overhead, you want to make sure you're loaded on the right side. Loaded on the right yeah, side. Yeah, so you're okay. going to load in the That's right, the all the way in the back. Yeah. If Assuming you don't have to jump, then as you hit, you transfer your weight to the front foot Makes as sense. you go yep. up. And then the overhead is the second shot in tennis that you don't hit to your target. The other one's a serve. Mm -hmm. With the forehand, you hit to your target, back into your target, volleys go to your target. The serve and the overhead, you actually hit up. And then okay. your arm just comes down, so you don't want to hit down on the overhead because you'll hit it in the net. Right. Um, so as you transfer your weight forward, then hopefully you take a step and continue back back in. Okay. Now, if the serve is or the return, I'm sorry, if the overhead is too far back, mm -hmm. then you do what we call the scissor kick. Right. Would you like to demonstrate it? I can, I can you probably do a, a better job than that. Down, you can put the cone down. Yeah. So with the scissor kick, um, he's going to be on his left foot jump and then kick that right leg up. Let's do that one more time when you kick this leg up a little bit more uh -huh. so people can see it. There. Yep. So you, again, you're like on your back leg, you jump on your left leg and then finish your stroke. Yeah. So that's a you know, very advanced skill. But again, if you want to try it, it's kind of fun. Um, that helps you get power on the overhead when the ball has gone behind you. Um, you know, ideally you get to the serve, I'm sorry, you get to the lob where you can step into it and you don't mm -hmm. have to do the scissor gig, but if it's good, then you don't have a choice. Okay. Um, then there's, you know, five different types of overheads you can hit. Um, you can read about them, there, um, but important to, to understand the difference and what you're trying to do with each one. One, you're, you know, there's the slicer, there's the hard one, there's the um, bouncer, and then there's the one that's called the good get out of trouble where you just like back here and then you're just hitting it high and you're trying to get All yourself right, back yeah. in position, give yourself time to get back into the net. So, okay. um, so that's about it on overhead technique and, um, right. and then read about it. There's more stuff down, okay. down below. All right. Sounds good.